Hey, welcome to video number one of the fall 2019 personal finance. I'm Jim Munchback and I'll be your coach. I'll be your professor and just want to welcome you to the course. Uh, you should see that you have a, a new assignment posted for this week, week one. And I wanted to just spend a minute and share a couple of things. First of all, before we talk about the syllabus, I want to point out that we do have a YouTube channel. So if you just search Millionaire Habits uh, on YouTube, you'll find the channel. And in the channel, you'll find that we have a playlist. And the playlist is named uh, U of H, UH Personal Finance Fall 2019. So you'll see some videos are posted there. These are the videos that so far are relevant in this semester, uh, the videos that will be part of your assignments for the next uh, couple of weeks before you get access to your Dave Ramsey book um, and online student portal, which you will need by week number three for sure. So I uh, announced that in class. I want to remind you in this video that you will need to get that book and I'll show you how to get that. Well, you should already have an announcement with a link to the book. Um, also wanted to highlight, we have a Facebook page. It's the same uh, name, just Millionaire Habits is the name of the page. And I want to encourage you to both subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Um, you can also, I think you can subscribe to the playlist um, to be notified when I post new videos to the YouTube playlist. But you for sure, if you if you subscribe to the channel, you'll get notified um, when you when I post videos to the playlist because it's inside of the channel. Um, I think you have to hit the little little bell button to tell it tell YouTube how you want to be notified. At any rate, so if you'll subscribe to the channel in YouTube, subscribe either to the channel or the playlist. And then also like the page on Facebook if you want to be notified when I go live on Facebook. And I'm going to try to do that uh, every week. So that's that. Let's jump into the syllabus for a minute. Uh, where did we go? Syllabus. So there's the syllabus. Um, and I wanted to just highlight a couple of things. Uh, the big class concept we talked about today, how to become a millionaire by age 50, and every assignment and every lesson this semester will support that big idea. That's the class concept. That's the big idea. And that's what I'm focused on helping you achieve. So that's my goal for the course. I would love to hear what your goal is for this semester. And you can share that either on the video in the comments or you can share it right in Blackboard. But please tell me what is your goal for this course? What do you want to learn? What do you want to accomplish? Um, so let's take a quick look at the assignments. You'll notice, let's see if I can take this to a place where I can take some notes on it. Second. So I'm going to try to create, import, open. There we go. So now I should be able to make some cool little notes. Um, so what I wanted to show you is this is your first assignment, and this is due uh, next week. Every assignment will be due at 10 a.m. Uh, on Tuesdays. So I will get to my computer sometime during the day on Tuesday, um, and I will post the assignments, and you'll find them that there in your Blackboard. So this assignment should be posted now. And basically, it's super easy. You just have to select a tracker and start using it. I wanted to point out, though, that you're going to have this assignment show up more than once. And so, because it's such an important assignment, I want to highlight what I'm going to be looking for in this assignment. And basically, uh, two or three things I'm looking for. And... I'll show you an example assignment in a future video, but basically I'm looking for three things. Number one, I want to see the data, the specific numbers for each and every item that you spent money on. Your app will do that for you. So 
We talked about different apps. If you're using Bank of America, that's a great app to use. If you use Bank of America Bank of America with a debit card, then that's perfect. Then your Bank of America debit card will feed right into your Bank of America app and you'll keep track of all your spending. But what if you're using a Bank of America Bank of America uh, debit card, but you're using a Wells Fargo credit card? That's two different institutions. In that case, you're probably going to want to go with Mint.com. The most popular tool available um, is Mint.com. And you'll see Dave Ramsey's offering a tool uh, as well, but it's a premium feature. You have to pay money if you want to integrate more than one institution. So I would encourage you to consider um, Mint.com. It's very popular. So you'll see 30-day spending is there once, it's there twice, and then again, so you're going to have this assignment three times. So three times you're going to see the same assignment. I can get that all on the screen. Three times you're going to see the same assignment, and all three assignments I'm going to ask for the same thing. One, I want to see um, the data. That's the specific, you know, detailed numbers that your app tracks for you. It's going to say what you spent, where you spent it, to the penny, what date, um, and when you export that data, it's going to create a graph, and that's the second component of this assignment, is a graph that shows the categories of what you spent. That can be very helpful. Number three is, I just want you to tell me what you learned. Tell me about your experience tracking your spending. So those are the three things that you're going to do in this assignment, and you're going to do this assignment three times. Notice that when you do the 60-day, even though it's really not a difficult assignment, you're just taking you know, what you did the first two and putting it all together. Um, you get 110 points for that. So just so you know, this is a, you know it's, a, it's an important assignment, and I wanted you to know that it was in there. Um, I will go over these other assignments throughout the semester. I'll do videos to highlight and illustrate and share like what the what the assignment should look like so that you're not guessing. Um, for now, though, you just need to select a tracker and tell me what's your goal for this class. You can do that in the comments or you can do it in Blackboard when you complete your assignment. That's about it for now. I hope you'll like the Facebook page and subscribe to the channel. And if you have questions, my contact information is on the syllabus. Uh, and the easiest, quickest way to reach me is text. So if you text, that's my iPhone. And I'll get that message right away. And if I'm not in an appointment with a client, I'll get back to you pretty quickly. Um, you can email me as well, but that usually takes a little longer. So don't inundate me with questions that can wait until class. But if you have, if you need something, go ahead and let me know. One thing I want to highlight is the book. You're going to have to order the book. And I believe I gave you, you did get, um, you definitely got, okay, let's see. Yeah, the link in this syllabus is not correct. So I sent you a link with the for, to order the book. And let's see if I can find that real quick. Uh, I think I have it. Hold on. I'm not going to spend too much time looking for this. don't have it handy. Yep, there it is. So if I select that, hold on, give me just a second. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to jump over here and just see what it looks like. Okay. So now we've got, this is the this is where you're going to order the book. It looks like it's 98 bucks, but that's the right link, the link that I sent in that previous announcement. Um, and I'll post this link in the video as well. It should be in your 
but it is in your announcement. You should have gotten an email with the link. So it'll tell you what you're, what you're ordering and what you get and which, you know, all of these assignments, which you will see, they sync up really well with the syllabus, which was intentional. So you'll watch these videos. After you order the book, you'll get access online. It all comes together. You'll get a hard copy book, and you'll get a little access card that comes with the book, and that's how you log in to the Dave Ramsey student portal. And you need to get that as soon as possible because after you get through week two, you won't have access to these videos and you won't be able to complete your assignments, which will put you in a big problem with your uh, points in the semester. So each semester you'll have two assignments and I think if you look through the syllabus, you'll see what those assignments are. But every week you're going to have a, a video article, a review article, 800 to 1,000 words. It should not take you long to do it. If I were you, I would use Siri. It would make it really easy. So um, you'll see the instructions on how I want that submitted. Every week you're going to do that. So that's a repeatable assignment. And then in addition, you'll do another assignment. Each week it's different. So for example, you'll do a zero-based budget next week. You'll get a credit report the following week, and so on. You can see it in the syllabus. So every week, two assignments. Both assignments are due at 10 a.m. on Tuesday. Um, and I will grade those as quick as I can. I'm going to give you one surprise announcement in this video because I want you to know that I do that. In these little videos, I'll give you little surprise announcements. And you can share it with the class on Tuesday. So here is my first surprise announcement. Uh, little secret to the grading scale if you turn in your assignment early, early as in today's Tuesday, I'm posting the assignment now, you turn it in, you do the assignment, and you turn it into Blackboard by, say, Friday night, maybe even Saturday night, maybe even Sunday night. But it's, it's in my queue early enough so that over the weekend I can spend some time and review it and get it back to you if there are anything if there's anything that needs to change so you can fix it and get full points. But if you turn it in early, I'll give you five extra points. So instead of getting 30 points, you could get 35 points. And that adds up pretty quick. And I'll tell you a little secret, secret number two. Well, I'm not going to tell you secret number two until video number two. So tune in for the next secret. But that's a big one. Five extra points if you turn it in early. Let me tell you what's not early. It's not early if you turn it in uh, Monday night at 11 p.m. I'm already in bed. I'm not going to grade it. There's no extra points for that. If you turn it in Monday at noon, you might get extra points. If you turn it in Friday by whatever time, you'll get extra points because then I'll have it on the weekend. So... I'm not going to give you any guarantee when it's early, but I can tell you if it's Monday night, it ain't early. If it's Monday, it's probably not early. If it's the weekend, it's probably early. So anyway, that is that. Thanks for watching the video, and I look forward to seeing you next week. By the way, if you're a student who's not enrolled in the course, you're welcome to follow along on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. I'd love to have your comments and your input. And if you're even not a previous student or a current student and you're just interested in learning how to become a millionaire, uh, this will be a great place for you to get those kinds of ideas. I'll be sharing uh, what I share in class here on Facebook and YouTube. So join us. And thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like it and share it and all that other stuff. Have a good day. See you.